today in this video we are going to discuss about the link budget analysis we have already uh, explained uh, in the lecture that what is the link budget and how can we calculate the loss channel loss uh, noise loss and uh, what are the different formulas in our lecture so uh, in this video we try to explain different examples relating to the link budget analysis and the loss the first example is about the satellite link of 11 gigahertz. So suppose we have an example, a satellite at 40,000 km range transmits 2 watt and the antenna gain is 17 dB. So we need to calculate flux density on the earth's surface, second power received by the antenna with effective aperture of 10 meters square. The third one is gain of the receiving antenna and the fourth is required C to N or carrier to noise ratio assuming that the system temperature is 152 Kelvin and the bandwidth is 500 megahertz. Uh, you need to uh, take care about this that uh, you don't need to calculate uh, both values like you can either calculate uh, in dBs or you can calculate linear bus in, but in this example we are considering both things like we are considering the uh, values in uh, dBs and we are considering the in the uh, linears. The first question was uh, you need to calculate the flux density and we know the formula for the flux density is PEIRP so that is the power which is the product of the transmit power and the transmit gain divided by 4 pi and d square. So uh, uh, from this equation we have given all the things like transmit power is given, transmit gain is given and similarly 4 pi is constant and it is also given like given frequency f is 11 gigahertz transmit power is 2 watt if you want to convert it into db so you can convert 10 log 10 2 so that is approximately equals to 3 db and uh, antenna gain is uh, 17 db and you can convert this into a linear value by this formula 10 raised to the power 17 by 10 so that which is equals to 50 and it is also given which is 40,000 kilometer and you can write it as 4 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 7 meter. So you can just insert all these value in this formula and then you will uh, like end up with this results 2 into 50. So 2 is gain and 50 is uh, 50 is gain and 2 is transmit power. So 4 multiplied by pi is 3.14 and d square is 40. 4 into 10 is power 7 square so which is equal to 10 uh, 100 divided by 4 into 3.14 uh, which is equal to 12.56 into if you take the square of 40 uh, 100 uh, uh, like 4 into 10 is power 7 the answer will be 1.6 into 10 raised to power 15. So this 10 raised to power 15 will go upstairs and it will be in the power will be minus 10 raised to power minus 15 and you can multiply 12.56 with 1.6 the answer will be 20.096 so if you divide 100 with 20.096 then you will end up the answer 4.97 in time is per minus 15 watt per meter so you can convert uh, this uh, result directly into the db like from your calculator you can write this 10 log 10 4.97 into 10 is for minus 15 and then uh, you will see the answer will be minus 143 db w divided by meter square or you can calculate indirectly by converting all the values in dbs like the power PIRP which is uh, you know the PIRP is the product of PT and GT so you can write in db PT and then plus GT so PT we know 2 db so and GT we know 17 uh, PT we know that is 3 db and gt is 17 db so that's why the answer is 20 db so you can write here 20 db and then minus loss so uh, minus that formula because this is in division so if you take the logarithm the answer will be minus so minus 10 log 10 4 pi plus 20 because d square so that is why 2 multiplied by 10 the answer is 20 log d so if you insert the values of 4 pi the answer will be 11 db and if, if you insert the value of d so d is 40,000 uh, 
for uh, d is basically 400 uh, 440 uh, 4 multiply into 10 raised to the power 7 so if you convert that into db the answer will be 152 db so altogether it is 163 db so 20 minus 163 which is equals to minus 143 db w divided by meter square so if you take if you want to convert this into linear so you can just take the power of 10 and uh, that one, my, uh, 143 divided by 10, the answer will be 4.97. Second part was you need to calculate the received power. We know the formula of the received power is equal to uh, the flux density multiplied by the aperture. We have already calculated the flux density, which is equal to 4.97 times power minus 15. And uh, the aperture is 10 meter square. So just multiply that one. So this is 10 to power plus 1. This is 10 power minus 15 the answer will be the same just uh, the power is uh, decremented by one you can even calculate is the into the db form like s uh, db flux density in db plus aperture in db so flux density in db is minus 143 and uh, if you take uh, the uh, 10 log 10 so the answer because log base 10 of 10 the answer is 1 so 10 multiplied by 1 the answer is 10 so that is why received power will be equals to minus 133 dBw. So that was uh, uh, this one. So second part you need to uh, calculate the the third part was uh, yes receive power. You need to calculate the receive antenna gain. So receive antenna gain means uh, the gain of the antenna is equals to that is the formula 4 pi by lambda square multiplied by the aperture so we know the aperture 10 meter square 4 pi is constant and we can calculate the lambda which is the relationship between the frequency and the speed of light so lambda is equals to c by f so c is a constant value 3 into 10 to the power 8 frequency is given that is 3 gigahertz so 3 to 10 to the power 9 so if you uh, solve this you will end up with 0.0 272 meter and then if you take the square of lambda then it is 0 0.0074 so use all these values you will you will end up 169729 so db is a unit less quantity or sorry gain is a unit less quantity so that is why 16972 you can uh, take this answer in db like uh, 10 log 10 whatever you have calculated that just insert the value the answer will be 52.3 db the last one is received carrier to noise ratio if the system temperature is 152k we know uh, ts the system temperature is equal to the noise power divided by kb where k is a boltzmann constant noise power n is noise power and b is the bandwidth of the system so boltzmann constant is equal to 1.38 into 10 raised to the power minus 23 and bandwidth of the system is also given which is 500 megahertz so you need to calculate n so n is equals to ktsb so if you insert all the values so 1.38 into 10 to the minus 23 into 152 into 500 into 10 to the power 6 you will get a 1.0495 into 10 to the power minus 12. so c is received power you have already calculated the received power in the previous last like 4.97 into 10 to the power minus 14. So if you insert both these values in this formula, so you will end up with 0 0.047353. So that is the ratio. But if you want to convert it into dB, just take 10 log 10 and this value. So the result will be minus 13.2 dB. So I calculate these results in a very detail. So I hope that you understand all these questions. But still, if you have any question, you can write uh, the question in the comment box and I will try my best to explain the answers. Thank you for watching the video.